Discord is an instant messaging and group chatting platform used by millions of people. With the Document Studio add-on, you can easily integrate Discord with Google Forms and automatically post messages in Discord servers when a new Google Form response is received. Let's start. Here we have a Google Form where students can apply to join different societies in their college. They are required to fill in their name, email address, which society they would like to be a part of and a short paragraph describing why they want to join. They also need to upload their resume with the form. Let's switch to Discord now. The existing members of these societies internally use Discord for communication. We have two separate channels on our Discord server. Now whenever a new student volunteers for a society, a message should be posted in the respective Discord channel. This process can be easily automated by integrating Discord with Google Forms using Document Studio. Have a look. If you don't have the add-on installed already, you can install it by visiting this link. We'll also put this link in the video description below. Once the add-on is installed, let's launch it inside Google Forms. You will see this little puzzle icon here that shows a list of your Google Form extensions. Click on the icon and choose Document Studio to launch the add-on. Create a new workflow and give the workflow a descriptive name. This workflow is for posting a message to Discord whenever a new student applies for the Tech Society. This is the Google Sheet linked to the form which will store all the form responses. You can click on this button to open the responses sheet in a new browser tab. Now here the workflow will process all the new Google form responses by default. However, if you want to process only specific responses that match certain criteria then select the process specific form responses option. To send messages when a new response is received for the text society, I'll select preferred society from this drop down which contains a list of all the questions in the form. Here is a list of comparison operators. I'll select exactly matches and type in text society in the text field here. This should exactly match the option text that we have in the form. Document Studio can help you integrate Google Forms with popular applications like WhatsApp, Trello, Slack, Airtable and the list keeps growing. This tutorial is for integrating Google Form responses with Discord, so let's select that service from this list. To integrate Discord, we will first need to generate the webhook URL. So let's switch to Discord. Sign into your Discord account and switch to the Discord server for the college societies. Here is a list of text channels that are a part of this server. Now to generate a webhook URL for a particular channel, I'll click the settings gear icon against the text society channel name. Once you open the settings, go to integrations. Click on create webhook. This is the new webhook created. You can edit the name of the bot here and can even upload a profile picture. The Tech Society channel has been selected here by default. In case you want to change the channel, you can do so by clicking on this drop down. Now click on copy webhook URL. Let's close the channel settings and go back to our workflow. Paste the copied webhook URL here and your Discord channel has been linked successfully. One more thing, if you do not see this gear icon here, please ask the server admin to enable the manage webhooks permissions for your account from here. This is the text box where we can specify the message that should be posted to Discord channel whenever a new Google form response is received. Here we have a drop down containing a list of dynamic markers. There are markers for individual form responses as well so that the message can contain answers filled by the respondents. Let's frame the message template.
The marker for resume will be replaced by the Google Drive link for the uploaded document so that the members can open the resume file directly from the Discord channel. You can even format the text here. I'll italicize the text by adding single asterisks around the text. These are some more options available for formatting the text. The message template is now ready. To recap, we have added a task to post a message in the Tech Society Discord channel whenever someone fills the Google form and chooses Tech Society as their preference. Let's go to the next step. This workflow should run each time a new form response is submitted, so I'll keep the option Run on Form Submit checked. Now for the last step, you can either save the workflow here or run it immediately. If you choose Save, the workflow will run for all new form responses that are received from now onwards. However, if you want to send Discord messages for responses that were received before setting up the workflow, choose Save and Run. Let's save it for now. The workflow has been saved successfully. You can now duplicate this workflow to set up a task to send messages in the Science Society as well. Do remember to generate a new webhook URL to post messages in another Discord channel. I'll close Document Studio now. Let's fill this Google form with some sample data to check whether the message is being posted in the Discord channel. The form has been submitted. Let's switch to Discord now. As you can see, a new message has been posted in the Tech Society channel as we selected that in the Google form. All the markers have been replaced with the form answers. So this was a quick tutorial on how to send messages in Discord whenever a new Google form response is received. Document Studio can integrate Google Forms with Slack as well. Check out our tutorial on how to post messages on Slack channels automatically when a new Google Form response is received. And do check out our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.